GME has arrived to an inflection point and anything can happen from here. The last time price action arrived at these levels, an almost 30% jump happened. The real question is, is it possible for this to happen again though? I may have some insight into the coming sessions. Welcome back to the channel on this hump day Wednesday. This is Arca and let's dive into GameStop. Let's kill him team. What is up you guys and welcome back to the channel please do me a favor and hit that like button subscribe to the channel do everything necessary to get this thing to live long thrive and survive let's go ahead and take a look at gme here on the one minute chart and what we're going to do here is identify the, the the signs of manipulation here using our algorithm composure right so you can absolutely see that on the minute time frame here we have several strikes of manipulation down near the uh let's see uh, yeah this was near euro close today entering lunchtime nysc right so let's go ahead and now take a look at lower time frames because i do have some further signals here that are indicating further manipulation on the price right let's go ahead and take a look at this now so all right here you guys in the pre-market right all the way in the post market just yesterday we have strikes of manipulation happening this is happening right from this point up here right that top of the price action 2265 as soon as we started getting that manipulation signal price uh, price action essentially dropped all the way down to 2190 and we did get several other strikes on that way down now check this one out right here right towards the end of the day price action was sitting at about 2162 before it continuously got strikes on strikes on strikes right so that ended up going from that 2162 uh, target all the way down to that bottom side of about 2059 so there are i mean there was an enormous amount of uh, manipulation here on the day today and uh, let's take a look at the 15 second chart right because it looks like it has been it, it's a it's apparent right it's kind of being hidden here wait within the uh, immediate short term time frames right I'm, I'm really talking about micro time frames here yeah price action from this iteration here you're looking at the x's right from the uh, from the algorithm and that's when uh that's when uh, you know the wavelength theory factors and criteria come in we need about seven different verifications to fire off within the algorithm and unless those seven instances happen and fire off there will not be any signs of manipulation and of course it's you know it's very difficult to get something of that nature to happen and it's happening over and over and over within this asset here right so we were trading around that 22 dollar level when we got that strike of manipulation on the 15 second uh chart on the 15 second chart before price action ended up coming all the way down to 2126 right so there, there's a lot of uh, pressure on the price action now i will uh, uh i will display to you a further um i, I do have some ideas here that i want to share with you right First of all, let's dive into the daily chart. And I want you to observe, yes, this is that this is that pump that we got to the $80 mark, right? The $64 intraday, $80, $80 post market. Uh, this is the current daily candle that we're on, right? This was today's price action right in here. And this was the this was the prior day. So as you can see, we're actually we're actually there's a little bit of a peekaboo down here, right? Piercing below the prior day's bar low. Okay, so that already makes an outside red bar. It's a little dangerous here, but it also makes a potential for a bullish reversal. I can't say that it is or it isn't going to happen. I don't have a crystal ball, but what I can share with you that is that it is a daily tweezer bottom candle formation. Okay, so if there is that possibility, this could be potentially a reversal formation. Okay, well, the fact that you have an inverted hammer here too, that could also help, okay? Now, what the danger is, is that we do have this gap here, right? So if you're if we're using WIC bases, yes, the, the bottom of the gap here would uh, be located at about $19.17. So if we start getting candle closures beneath, now actually adjusted, it would be a zone between the uh, uh, today's low of about 2106 to the prior day's low right which would be about uh, 2116 if we start getting daily candle closures beneath that zone there then we could be seeing continuation to the way down so we got to be super careful about how price action and how we observe price action in the coming days okay you guys it's going to be very dangerous if price action starts to fall and you're just going to average down and average down and average down in fact if you average down during the way down you're only speeding the rate of loss 
there is a strategy against that, right? There is the potential. And please don't use this as any, as any type of financial advice. This is just for entertainment purposes. I'm just a regular dude looking at the price action here from, uh, you know, from Los Angeles, California in his, uh, in his, uh, in one of the rooms in the house, right? So let's just go ahead and uh, say that you continue to drop price action here, right? And you average down again and down, down here at the $20 level, you're, you're intensifying the drop, right? You're, you're speeding the rate of loss down. So the more you enter, the faster that rate of loss is going to go. So it's, you're going to notice that the numbers losing are going to be more exponential. They're going to be jumping into, into, into faster, I'm sorry, into higher intervals at a faster rate. So in fact, if you do suspect a downside, it would be better to realize some of those losses. Instead, slow the rate of loss down by pulling risk away. And then when you reach an inflection point, a bottom side where you do suspect one to be, then you would enter that you would enter that position that you let go, saving yourself some cash, saving yourself some money, right? And this would be a better way to observe price action. This is if you're bullish on the asset overall. If you're looking for a continuation to the upside in the longer term, it would be better for you to do something like that, right? That, you know, you guys know GME for the last uh, two and a half, three years has all has had. Uh, some incredible price swings, right? And these are some of the uh, more exciting times happening as of late, right? So you got to be careful with the way uh, price action behaves within GME. If you're not aware of it, if you're not if you're not familiar with it, all you got to do is just look back and study its price movements, right? And you'll be able to get to get some answers on that. I've been covering, uh, well, I mean, I, I haven't been covering GME particularly for this long, but I was around for the AMC Times, right? And I definitely have. A uh, pretty good notion as to how price action behaves within these assets. Okay, so please be very careful. Um, I would, uh, I would uh, just uh, strongly uh, uh, suggest, uh, you know, not averaging down like that. Okay, team, do do not bet what you're not willing to lose. Right? It's uh, very difficult, very difficult out here. Okay, yeah. Just remember, if we start getting some daily candle closures beneath this zone that I spoke of, there could be continuation to that downside. All right, you guys. So. Heads up with that. Make sure to make sure to uh, uh, to validate supports before you continue on. Uh, something to look into here from the immediate short term time frame. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the five minute time frame and look at some critical moving averages. This is your EMA 200, your SMA 200, right? SMA 100 and your SMA 50. What I'm basically saying is that we're below all of those major moving averages on a five minute time frame. So I'm gonna need you to I'm gonna need you to be careful. There is the potential here to drop into that twenty dollar sixty cent zone and experience a potential double bottom, right? That would be great. But we want to make sure that we can validate closures above that twenty dollar and sixty cent. Apologies if you can hear the little guy in the background, right? My little four year old is uh, kind of jumping around me right now, uh, playing. I, I love it. You know what I mean? He's he's here at uh, he's working with daddy. All right. So, uh, yeah, if we if we could get that bottom side team, please be very careful. There is a probability of getting that low. All right. And 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 lower. OK, so I just uh, remember the remember the targets that we talked about in the prior chart. OK, and uh, here's one. Here's one uh, little sign of opium that I can show you here. Uh, this is uh, the eight hour MACD. Right. So this is your moving average divergence uh, convergence. A convergence divergence indicator right so you're actually noticing that the that the bars here these uh the i'm sorry the histogram is actually showing an a divergence right it, when you compare it to price action you're getting declining price action here not, uh, not to mention that you're getting declining volume as well and the size of the of the candles are slowly uh decreasing in size right so please notice that you're you are getting declining price action you're getting ascending histogram here and you're getting very close to having the moving averages and the signal lines cross over across each other, right? So that usually signals a potential end or a floor to be found soon. And if you compare that to the initial chart that we were talking about uh, within the daily time frame, we are currently at a floor with a potential uh, tweezer bottom. Uh, maybe, you know, yeah, maybe there could be a shift in price action here soon. I don't want you to get too bullish. I don't want you to feel like this is the end and we're going to just rip to 80 bucks from here. It's, no, no, no. I just want you to know that there are signals happening within the price action, and some of those signals are consistent to a potential uh, a potential reversal. I just want you to be careful in the markets because anything can happen with highly manipulated stocks. So please beware. All right, team. I think this is going to do it. Please remember, I'm extending. I'm actually bringing down from a 19-week uh, uh, program down to a five-week crash course. Okay. 
So join the ARC the, the ARC Masters course. Uh, the seats are getting really close to getting taken up now. Okay, so ARC Masters course at gmail.com. Reach out to me because these classes are probably going to start in about two weeks here, and and the enrollment will be cutting will be cut off pretty soon. And uh, another thing that we could do is actually uh, introduce the potential of you joining the Arca Bulls trading team. We're we're observing GME, AMC, and other assets and trading the interim, right? Uh, growing our portfolios. Make sure to join us in the link. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and add it right up here, right? So yeah, join us in the in the Discord for uh, some uh, for some for some trading. All right. Well, thank you so much, team, and we shall speak very soon please take whatever i do show and iterate within these videos as just a form of entertainment as i cannot suggest for you to buy sell or hold any assets whatsoever no 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 never i need you to do your own due diligence and everything will be cool cool but with that said team i wish you well a very very good rest of your night and or day and i will catch you at the bell manana adios team Yeah.